Well, it's March 22nd, 2012, and spring has sprung, but summer is here. Let me tell you what I'm up to. The last thing I was just working on was getting my pork hauling, you know, the pork hauling unit running correctly without any exhaust hooked up. It's still cut at the cats, where the cats were cut off, running with no oxygen sensors. It's got missing four oxygen sensors. So lots of tweaking and fooling around. I got her running really smooth and she's pretty quiet when you don't rev her. But lots of power. Not sure whether I'm going to hook up the exhaust or not. But this video is about unseizing that 305 small block Chevy in my 1963 Alice Chalmers front end loader which you guys got to see in the video about six weeks ago when it was real cold out that she had locked up solid. I guess it seized because my plastic bags I, have shoved, I had shoved up the exhaust manifolds fell out in the last two years and the cylinders got rusty. So the same guys that helped me get my Chevy, my, well Chevy act running. Uh, get it unhydrolocked. They pulled the spark plugs out a few days ago, put gas and oil mixture down the cylinders. So now it's been sitting a few days. So now I've got to go way back over yonder. I guess you can barely see it. And try a device I've never made before. Oh well, that's going to be it. There's the timing belt from that Lexus Toyota thing that I changed a couple months ago. There's a big pry bar and there's just a chunk of random steel already that shape that I found laying around. I'm going to make a tool out of that to hopefully unseize that motor. We already tried putting a wrench on it and a socket and tried cranking it, but she's locked solid. What I'm going to do is what you could have done by building it with a motorcycle chain. It's those like chain pipe clamp holders or like chain grips. You just put a big bar with a chain and it grips round things and you torque and twist. Well, I decided that why bother wasting a chain? I weld that hook to that bar as an anchor. Let's just slip that timing belt through and see if this thing, because that bar won't bend, can twist a seized engine. And if it twists, well then I'll throw a battery in her and see if she'll fire up. Now, being a Chevy, she'll probably run. <laughs> should still have enough compression the other cylinders they won't all be seized so a little bit of welding and we'll be ready in a minute Looks like she's done to me. 30 second uh, homemade engine on Caesar. That's it. Now we hook the timing belt through there. Oops. And then we wrap it around the engine crank. I mean the harmonic balancer and hopefully it binds enough that it catches and it twists the motor just like a chain clamper. Almost there.
Uh oh, there's that big divot you gotta slow down for that Rick broke my backhoe on. Now it doesn't really latch. The turbo diesel van is working great with that VW motor. Now let's set up a tripod and see if I can get that sucker cranking. And then you guys can start wanking. Whoever likes those starting videos, I guess. So the idea is get that timing belt wrapped around the harmonic balancer, hook that thing onto it, wedge it in there, and pry down. Let's see what's going to happen. At least we're all prepared. There's the tripod. Ah, liquid encouragement. Mm. That'll get the job done. Notice my awesome tan. It's over 26 degrees Celsius today. That's got to be like 77 Fahrenheit or 78. I've been getting tanned all week. But being a weekday, there's nobody out here. Concept works. Cool. Now let's assume we got some cranking power. Ooh, that's pretty seized. Um, I think we gotta go back and add a little piece on here. I'll show you what happened. It just uh, straightened out that, so now I've got to add a piece down here so it can't do that. Then we won't have that problem. Oh well. Research and development. Okay, 30 seconds of welding. That's all the research and development necessary. Well, and I picked up another beer. So, we'll try to put this thing on and see what happens now. Like I said, it is hard doing this by one person. Alrighty. It's working! Holy shit! Feels rusty. Crunch, crunch. Still hot from welding. he said. Let it be 
be almost ready to put a battery in. Oops. Maybe we'll try a battery now. On the wing nuts, thinking about my next beer. Cooling pan works. All right, no editing, some gas. Filling up the bowl through the ventilation port. Let's see if we're going to catch a fire. Oops. Got to hook the battery back up. Call that a start. So now I'm going to hit the starter more with a hammer, I guess. I'm sure the starter is just as rusty as the motor. More prime because it's got no fuel system. Well, since it's running off the fuel system in the bowl, it didn't run any longer. I don't have a redneck gas can on this thing, but at least it's on sea, so good times are coming. Sweet. 